Welcome to this uh, lecture number 26 uh, of the course computational hydraulics and we are in module 2 numerical methods and uh, in this particular lecture we will discuss unit 22 algebraic equation and uh, we will try to discuss LU decomposition method for uh, decomposition of matrices to get the solution. Uh, using direct numerical approach. So, what is the learning objective? At the end of this particular unit, students will be able to apply LU decomposition method for direct solution. So, uh, we already know uh, what is our matrix form. Uh, we have A as uh, constant coefficient matrix uh, which is a square matrix, phi is our variable vector and R is right hand side vector. Uh, in this case, uh, uh, we have uh, again uh, a square matrix format n cross n and n cross 1 again n cross 1 here. So, these are compatible matrices. Uh, uh, in this case, uh, our LU decomposition process, uh, it has got a few steps. First step is uh, decomposition step, we will uh, decompose this A matrix into one lower and one upper triangular matrix. Next step is forward substitution. So, in this process we will utilize our lower triangular matrix uh, for forward substitution uh, step and this psi this is some kind of uh, secondary variable that you will utilize uh, for forward substitution. So, in this process uh, essentially we are solving L psi equals to R uh, uh, equation and uh, we can get this psi value here, but psi uh, is not uh, our ultimate variable we need to get the phi. So, in this last step backward substitution step uh, will utilize u phi equals to psi. So, u is the upper triangular matrix that is generated from uh, our decomposition step and phi is variable vector and psi whatever we have uh, calculated from our substitution or forward substitution step or second step will directly utilize it in the right hand side vector and will calculate the phi value which is our desired value. So, what is the basis for this one? Basis is that if you multiply this uh, we can write this what this step as u phi minus psi equals to uh, this 0. Now, uh, this step if we multiply L in this case, so this is essentially uh, first multiplication it is coming as LU. LU is A again L psi from our forward substitution step this is R. So, essentially we are solving the same problem, but uh, with multiple steps. So, LU equals to A and L psi this is equal to uh, is equal to R. Now, uh, we will try to utilize this concept uh, 
and we will try to implement this in algorithm format. So, if we see our Gauss elimination thing uh, in LU decomposition, we can utilize our Gauss elimination concept. So, uh, what is the basis? Basis is that matrix generated from forward elimination process is this one where uh, first one is unchanged, second one is changed, third one changed, fourth one and fifth one these are changed values of the coefficient matrix and we have generated upper triangular matrix out of this uh, uh, Gauss elimination uh, or a forward elimination process. Now, in this case, uh, we can see that we have 0 values stored in this lower triangular portion. Now, in this process, in this process, uh, in the first step, uh, 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 gamma 1, 2 that means gamma multiplied with uh, first row for second row, gamma multiplied with first row for third uh, first uh, row uh, for third row, gamma multiplied with first row uh, with uh, uh, for uh, fourth row and fifth row where uh, multiplied with row 2 uh, this is where multiplied uh, with 1 uh, for uh, this is for uh, row 1. So, in this case uh, multiplication factors uh, can be stored. Uh, multiplication factors uh, can be stored. So, multiplication factors in this case uh, are stored like this. This is gamma 1 2, gamma 1 3, gamma 1 4, gamma 1 5. Similarly, uh, for this case uh, we can again store other values, other values are generated from different steps. These are actually factors that we have utilized to multiply uh, our reference row. Now, for this one, uh, LU decomposition step, we can write it as uh, this is our upper triangular matrix or U and uh, this is our lower triangular matrix with diagonal term uh, 1, 1, 1, 1 and uh, the factors are stored in the lower portion. These are all factors that we have utilized and this is uh, the thing that we have got from our uh, Gauss elimination process. Now, in this case uh, forward substitution, uh, we can say that in place of comma, we are writing it in more structured way that L21, this is essentially gamma 1, 2. Uh, so, uh, for why this is forward substitution? So, we are directly substituting the value in this case psi 1 uh, equals to your r 1 and uh, in this case next is psi 2 which is r 2 minus uh, 
psi 1 and this L 2 1. So, obviously, we can utilize our values uh, which we have calculated in the first decomposition step using Gauss elimination mm, and uh, we can get this forward substitution. Now, in this case uh, general algorithm is like this psi i uh, can be generated r i minus j uh, equals to 1 to r uh, this is i minus 1 i minus 1 because for i minus 1 number of variables only will have updated value available uh, and our matrix uh, that is a lower triangular matrix. So, uh, we will consider i values starting from uh, 2 to n. Now, uh, this means that for all i within 2 uh, this uh, set 2 to n we can utilize this. So, this is i minus 1 for 2 this will be up to 1 that means only one term. If uh, our i equals to 3 so obviously these two values that means these two values should be available that is why this j equals to 1 to 2. Now, in this case, in this case uh, the next step is uh, backward substitution. Backward substitution again uh, we can directly write in terms of uh, phi n, phi n is psi n divided by a n n a n n because uh, in this case uh, we are uh, storing all values in our A matrix and in general because psi values are calculated values that is why with a red color and phi j values uh, these are also uh, calculated values because for i if you are considering i equals to 4. So, obviously, uh, this should be 5 to 5 that means only one term. So, uh, our calculation is uh, valid from n minus 1 to 1 and with this general steps uh, we can uh, directly calculate our values. Obviously, have, I have not utilized this u 5 5 here because we are storing all the values in a 1 1 to a n n format where a n 1 to a 1 n that means n into n matrix is our a matrix. So, uh, we are utilizing uh, all the values here for our calculations. Now, uh, let us see what is there in the algorithm of uh, our LU decomposition. In LU decomposition, uh, this step is similar to our uh, Gauss elimination decomposition step. So, same we are starting from a reference row and we are going up to n minus 1 and i k plus 1 that means leaving that reference row we are considering other rows for calculation and we are generating this gamma. The, so, gamma is your factor i k m divided by k k. So, i k again uh, we are storing this gamma because this is for storage of a lower triangular matrix here and uh, this process is as usual a i j a i j minus gamma a k j. Now, in this process uh, please remember one thing that we are not considering the changes in r. 
So, leaving R uh, other calculations are same only thing is that this step where we are storing A i k uh, in place of A i k uh, we are storing this gamma or factor values. So, next step is forward substitution psi 1 equals to R 1 and we are running this loop from 2 to n sum equals to R i j equals to 1 to i minus 1 that means uh, uh, to consider uh, the diagonal term only uh, corresponding to diagonal term we are calculating the psi values. So, psi should be sum directly because uh, we are uh, we have considered initial value as R i and from that we are subtracting other uh, j related values. So, directly uh, we are getting psi i equals to sum because in diagonal uh, term uh, for lower triangular matrix uh, only unity is there. So, no division uh, is required. Uh, next is backward or back substitution. Back substitution psi n equals to uh, phi n equals to psi n divided by a n n and this is uh, more or less similar to our uh, Gauss elimination process. So, uh, except this psi in place of psi this r was there. So, r i uh, this in this case psi i we are placing here. So, sum equals to sum minus a i j uh, phi j phi is the already calculated value from our calculation process. So, uh, in this case uh, coefficient terms are there because diagonal term we have upper triangular matrix including the diagonal term. So, we need to divide it with a i i which is part of upper triangular matrix. So, phi i equals to sum divided by a i i. Now, in this process uh, we have generated uh, this um, vector uh, phi and this is our solution. So, result is phi. Now, we need to implement this is uh, again uh, with a scilab code. Now, uh, I will discuss the implementation of the code uh, so that you will understand what is there uh, within the process. Now, uh, again we will consider uh, two uh, example problems, one with a simple uh, our banded matrix. Uh, one diagonal and two of diagonal terms and uh, second one is a uh, bit complicated with multiple number of variables. Now, uh, if we consider our problem uh, with scilab, then uh, we can say that uh, this is our LU decomposition. So, uh, it starts with uh, again this CLC or clear command uh, or clear screen command then clear, clear means clear of variables. Uh, again uh, LU D comp is our function name and function output is phi and input required is A R and this is linear equation because we are considering a phi equals to r problem uh, in our case. So, uh, this part is common, this part is common uh, we can check uh, whether it is a square matrix or not uh, or compatibility issues because uh, we need to uh, operate on a and r. Uh, if there is problem in the input, uh, uh, it can create uh, further calculation related problem and uh, your LU decomposition thing is not valid in that case. Now, uh, this is our uh, decomposition step. 
Now, in this decomposition step, decomposition step, uh, we are following uh, the same algo uh, rhythm that we have used in Gauss elimination. We are starting from 1 to n minus 1 and i is running from k plus 1 to n and this is also k plus 1 to n. This gamma uh, is a i k divided by uh, k k, k uh, is your reference uh, row and a i k uh, we are storing this gamma value. Uh, now, this part is uh, different with respect to our Gauss elimination and for j k plus 1 again we are changing our a i j value. So, obviously, in this case uh, these are updated a i j values. Uh, so, this is all about uh, the decomposition step. Now, in this step we have divided uh, the matrix into lower and upper. Now, one thing uh, maybe uh, one question is there that in lower triangular matrix we have considered that all uh, values are in diagonal as 1, but we have not written that thing here because there is no scope for incorporation of this unit value in diagonal. So, uh, this diagonal thing we are directly utilizing in this forward substitution process. We are considering that uh, the multiplication term with psi, uh, so L multiplied psi equals to R 0 forward substitution process. So, directly we are writing it psi equals to R 1. So, psi 1 equals to R 1 that means we are implicitly considering our coefficient as 1. So, we are not multiplying any quantity uh, here or uh, dividing any quantity here and we are not storing this value in our A matrix or uh, we are implicitly implementing this thing. Now, forward substitution it is running from 2 to n. So, sum equals to r i uh, and sum j a i j uh, psi j whatever value we have and psi i equals to sum j as uh, I have told that uh, implicitly we are considering that uh, our diagonal term uh, uh, already coefficient 1 is there. So, we are not multiplying or dividing any quantity here. Then last step is our backward substitution. Again, uh, we are following the Gauss elimination uh, steps. So, phi n equals to psi n divided by a n n. So, this is the first uh, calculation step, but we are starting from uh, last row and we, we are moving upward direction. In the forward direction, uh, movement is there in the forward elimination. Decomposition step is also forward. Uh, in forward sweep, uh, we are constructing our L and U matrices. So, uh, in backward step, uh, we have already got the value of phi n and from this phi n, uh, we are calculating the values for n minus 1 to 1 uh, with the increment of minus 1. So, sum j equals to psi i because you have uh, this thing uh, uh, in the next step or uh, backward substitution step. This is upper triangular matrix. Now, in this case psi values are already known values. Uh, and these are acting as right hand side vector. So, I a i j into phi i j uh, phi j uh, we are uh, subtracting this thing and calculating sum j, uh, but in this case uh, 
in upper triangular matrix, uh, we have diagonals available and those diagonal uh, terms are uh, either 1 or any value. So, we cannot generalize that. So, uh, we are utilizing those diagonal terms for calculation of phi i. So, phi i equals to i divided by sum j divided by uh, sum j uh, uh, equals to sum j divided by a i i. So, we are getting phi i values. Now, uh, if we utilize our concept wise thing. So, uh, let us consider our simplified case where uh, we have only uh, um, phi 1, phi 2, phi 3, phi uh, 4 and phi 5. So, these are odd numbers 1, 3, 5, 7 and uh, last one is yeah, uh, last one is 9 and storing this a value here and this is r. So, with this uh, we should get 1, 3, 5, 7, 9 as our solution. Now, we can select this uh, with a right click evaluate command uh, we can check uh, whether we are getting. So, we can see that exactly we are getting uh, the solution from our uh, LU decomposition step this is 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. Now, in this case, uh, uh, in this case uh, we are calling the function uh, phi LU decomposition a r with this, but if we have uh, let us say we are changing it to a 1 and we are utilizing our uh, that general matrix structure problem 5 by 5 uh, although it is 5 by 5 uh, for this LU decomposition uh, we can check that we are uh, getting the solution 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Again uh, this is our solution as uh, discussed in our Gauss elimination uh, uh, slides. Now, in LU decomposition also we are getting the same solution. Uh, for large matrices uh, uh, these things are uh, applicable, uh, but one problem is that uh, we need uh, uh, this uh, direct uh, thing. Uh, another way uh, of defining it is with indirect method, but uh, in our previous problem uh, this problem is uh, more general where we have full structure or full uh, matrix uh, coefficient matrix structure here but most of them are uh, having uh, non-zero values, but if you have large number of zero values available and we have a general structure available for that, uh, we can uh, definitely uh, use our uh, uh, concepts, uh, concepts for that purpose uh, and for banded matrix we can write our generalized algorithm and uh, uh, because in this case uh, storage is a problem. You need to store n by n matrix for our calculation. Finally, uh, a matrix is n by n matrix but if you have some diagonal uh, structure or banded structure of the matrix you do not need to store the full matrix. Without storing the full matrix uh, we can solve the problem. In the next lecture 
will be discussing that uh, special kind of algorithms uh, 